Mm. Happy New Year! Happy, Happy New Year! Year. Welcome, Welcome back. back! Yep. Now, we are going to play a great game called Who, Who Am, am I? I? Who Am Who I? I? Who Am I? I? Mm, I'm we're a great I team. Am. We work together. We are. Okay. okay. All right, so we're going to start. Okay. Give me some clues. Let's see. This teacher likes to travel. Travel is her oh, thing. Wow. Oh. She really gets around. She also loves to cook a, anything, but especially Greek food. She loves to cook. She always has a book and reading. Let's see. She has a, always has a book in her hand. Are there any more clues? This is the best clue. She's really into stripes. <gasps> stripes! That's me, zebras! I am Mrs. Lemka, the zebra lady. Yay! Yay. Okay, who's up next? All right. Okay, let's switch places. Okay. okay. Now, this teacher loves her family. Yeah, she... Okay. That's she what, that's what puts hear. the fun in teaching. Fun in teaching. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. <sighs> that's tough. Her flower arrangements are world famous. Ooh, flower. Ooh. Ooh. She lives at Kitty City. Oh my gosh, it's Mrs. Park. It's me. See, it says on my hat. I'm Mrs. Park, first grade. The cat lady. The cat lady. Yeah. Kitty City. Okay, here's our last teacher. The last one. Okay, she's a veteran teacher. Uh, veteran. She's a world traveler. Oh, I think I know who this is. Got a couple more. Got, got some more? Yep. She loves to take pictures wherever she goes. Yeah, I, I'm getting a clear picture. Okay. Who could it be now? Let me and, think. And this is the this is the gimme. She's wild about bears. Bears! I love bears! It must be me! Mrs. Mrs. Alvarez! Yay! Oh, yay! This first grade, our lady! Great. Yay! Yay! First grade! Now that you know all about us, we have some important information to share with you today. First up, Mrs. Lemka. Go, Mrs. Okay. Lemka. Okay. All right, got it. All right, first grade. First of all, I'll talk about homework. So you know you have those take home folders and has your homework in there. Just make sure you bring it back every single day because you know research shows that first graders that do a great job with their homework and try really hard with, with their parents at home do better at school, they do better socially, they, they have better self esteem. So make sure that's so important that you get that done, okay? And then remember to read every day too. If you can go to the library or if you're your mom or dad want to read you a bedtime story. All that is part of homework too, so that's and that's fun. We try and make the homework fun. Like today, I know all the first graders were so excited about our number scavenger hunt. Oh, they were telling like, oh, I'm gonna find numbers in my garage and I'm gonna find numbers in the kitchen. And so usually homework is just we try and make it so fun too. So we, we really try hard on that. Okay. Um, let's see, part of the homework really is also with the library books, they live in your backpack. And that way you'll never forget them. So when you go home, you take your library book out, and maybe your mom or daddy will want to read that to you, or maybe you want to read it to yourself. When you're done, just put it in your backpack. Because if you put it on your shelf or around your bedroom, some, I don't know, some first graders might have a messy bedroom, I don't know, and then you lose them, right? So keep them in your backpack as soon as you're done reading them. And they live in our backpacks, and you'll never forget them. Tennis shoes also. You know, some days are gym and music days, some days aren't. Um, you can look at the schedule if you want to go on Skyward and look at all the schedules, but you wouldn't even have to do that if you just always wear tennis shoes. And then it makes the playground safer, too, because we always go out for recess. All right, so I think I've wrapped up homework. Did I forget anything, I can't ladies? Think anything. You did okay, good. next thing, I want to make sure I got everything, is um, field trips. I know that's going to be fun this year. Well, in, this, in September, we are going to actually build a teepee, and that's going to be really fun. We also are going to learn about Kansas and native animals to Kansas when it's around Kansas Day. So we're excited about that. Those two field trips come to us. And so that's, that's, we don't have to go anywhere. But in December, we usually go to Kaleidoscope. We'll get on the bus and go all the way there, and that's really fun. And usually one of the high schools will put on a play so the first graders can see the play. 
at one of the high schools this year, and we'll let you know more about that as soon as we know. I think I've covered everything, so which one of you lovely ladies wants to go next? Will be the bears or the cats? It's the cats' turn. All right, cats, 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 here she comes. Here we are, the cat lady. So guys, I have a couple really important things that we need to make sure you understand what, what you can do to make everything run smoothly. Okay, we have drop off and pick up. Just so you know, you can drop your kids off at about 740. That's when some adult will be here and be in charge. They can come in as long as they come into, they'll come into the cafeteria and they'll get to eat their breakfast. And then when they're finished, if they have spare time, then they get to go to the gym for a walking club. Um, if your students are not eating breakfast, then you can get into the building, I believe at about 10 till eight. And then they just go straight into walking club. About eight o'clock, the students are released to come into our classrooms. Arrives to school after 8.10, then they're tardy. And it's really hard for some of our kids to catch back up. So they spend the rest of their spare time like at recess and stuff. So do the best you can to get your kids here by eight o'clock in the morning. Because it's, it's a great way to start the day on time. Uh, for dismissal, first graders are now walking down the left side of the stairway. And we're going to meet kind of in the middle of the big wide sidewalk. That way first graders will have, their parents will have access to both sides of the driveway. So you can just come up, stay in the line of traffic and just follow the waving arms. And um, we'll make sure your guys are watching for you and you can kind of help remind them to keep their eyes open too. Sometimes we're just a little too, well, we're having too much fun with our friends, but we're working on it, so you work on them too. Overland Park School is a positive behavior school. We teach the life skills to our students. Perhaps you've heard of our ABCs. So we have A stands for active listening. B stands for best effort. C stands for care for property. D stands for deep down kindness and E stands for extreme safety. This is how your guys, thanks for the help oh. team. This is how your kids can earn OP bucks. You might get to hear about those. Um, each classroom collects the, or we give out OP bucks because we're looking for kids to be doing the right thing. We like to catch them being good. So we go ahead and pay them with their OP bucks and each room has a different system of cashing those in for possible prizes. Ask your kid how many bucks they earn during the day. That's a good way to see if they're doing okay in first grade. Park. Yes. Could you tell us about how to send money to school? Oh, I forgot the money thing. All right, gang, parents, if you just get an envelope and you put a check or your money in the, in the envelope and lick it, then you make sure you have your student's first and last name and then one dash P for Park, A for Alvarez, or L for Limca. Then we have a place for the kids to put it right outside the, our classroom door that gets picked up every day. So please don't just send dollar bills because they lose them, they spend them on pencils. It's not good because they need to eat lunch. So please, in an envelope with your name, the, the kid's name and the teacher's names. Does that sound good? All right, here's Mrs. Alvarez. Ready for the last part of our information today. I get to talk about eat healthy and play hard. At Overland Park, all of our first graders love to have snack in the morning. So we want a good, healthy snack. No donuts, Mrs. Park. Oh, darn. Something that they can eat that is quick and easy for a first grader to take and eat by themselves. Also, we want to make sure everybody gets lots of water. So bring your own water bottle and take it home every night so it stays clean and drink water all day long. It's good for your brain. It's good for your body. It doesn't help hurt your looks either. Okay. Also, let me see. If you're going to have a birthday party at your house, remember you want to have deep down kindness. Make sure if you're going to invite everybody in your class that you can send your invitations to school. But if you're going to have just a boy party or just a girl party, or you want everybody to just, your mom says you can only have two friends, you might want to mail those, or you might want to give them to moms out on the sidewalk. Because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's all or no at, for birthday invitations. Okay, 
I'm also supposed to talk to you about iPads. We love our iPads in first grade. We think we should be playing on our iPads all day long, but we always talk about we don't play on our iPads. We work on our iPads. And we try really hard to limit how much time we use them every day so that we're using them the right way and that we're not getting too much screen time. We don't want to wear out our eyes and we want to have some fun too. So we're going to work not only on our iPads, but we're going to be doing lots of STEAM activities. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And those take things you can touch with your hands and cut and paste and glue and do all that good stuff. So we're going to be doing lots of those activities along with our iPads because we want to make sure we're well-rounded. We get lots of different activities. I get to talk about the most important part, communication. When you have a problem at school, you need to call, email, or write a note. Don't be afraid to ask for help because we are here to help you with whatever you need from first grade teachers. So if there's a question, you can always call us on our school numbers. You can find those on the website, and I'm sure all of us have sent those out to you. You can email us on our email. You can stop us after school. You can even send us a message on Seesaw. If you haven't connected to Seesaw, it's a good idea because you get to see a little glimpse of what's going on in the classroom every day. So make sure you're looking at Seesaw and you're figuring out what's happening with us. And Mrs. Okay, one more. We're ready for the finish up, Mrs. Uh, Lumpkin. Mrs. Alvarez, could you also mention that they could write us a note in the homework? Oh, don't forget those homework uh, folders. You can always send us a note in there. I saw Mom has a really cool little clip she keeps at the top, and she sends me little notes, and I check it every day. That's a great way to put money, too. Just clip it on that homework folder, and we get it every day. Put that money in an envelope. Mrs. Park wants us to remember. From the bears. The and zebras. And the cats. Have a great, great. year. Bye. But one more thing. Oh. Um, you need to know a secret code. Because oh if God. your student comes back and gives us a secret code, we're going to give them a special buck, and they're doing a special buck drawing. Secret and our code is going to be our first grade mascot. So you've got to say zebras, bears, and cats. Let's practice that. Zebras, zebras bears, bears, and cats. cats. It doesn't need to be in that order. You could say... Cats, bears, and zebras. Cats, bears, and zebras. But those are the three words we need to hear, okay? We need to hear the word cat, the word bear, and the word zebra. If your child comes back and gives us those three words, special buck drum.